Here we got the video scoping evidence of pulsed power transmission. This is the one released to YouTube. We're going to start that real quick and we're going to show that this video here we can find more information from my computer than we can from the video itself. We'll go ahead and start the video. That's a 10 milliseconds per division. That's 10 milliseconds per division. Note that uh, you uh, will only see four uh, bright spots. That's the secondary. Three pictures per sweep. From the observer's viewpoint here, we can see the primary, we'll show the primary and secondary separately. There's the primary. It's going down to zero. There's the secondary. Okay, we're gonna stop that now. Close that out. Now we're going to go back to uh, my records on the, my computer. Look at the same thing. And what we're going to do is we're going to use the VLC media player to look at the information. We're going to slow the information down through several of the options that the VLC media player will provide for you. Uh, the, we're on that icon there. Uh, in order to access this, we're going to go up to My Documents. This is the way we have to do it. We can't go through the, the Varia Media program itself. We open My Documents. Now we go through a Varia Media browser. Open it. Go through the steps. This one's taken on the 17th. We'll open it. There's the file. We'll open it. Here's the actual video. At this point, we're going to uh, use the FL uh, the V function itself. We press right click, open, play with the VLC media player, open with VLC media player. Now we're going to take it up to where we were in the other video. Right around there. Right about there. Okay, we're going to stop that now and show something else. What we've done here is we have, on the VLC video player, we have tools up here. You click on tools and go down the custom interface. Custom interface will give you some options and we've added those options into our uh, view functions and what we've added is a drop and, drop and drag thing. We've added slower function there, a faster function there, and we've also added next forward. That's the forward there and we've added snapshot we've added the headphone thing that's for doing a, just a small segment of the video and there's the next okay now that we've gone through what we did there to get our extra icons down here we'll go ahead and replay uh, that we'll close that up now we're back to the video. We'll go ahead and play the video. We can see the primary you ought to be able to see more white lines than on the on on the uh, YouTube. Okay, here's the icon. We're going to go to full screen. There's the primary. There's the secondary. Now we're going to slow this down shortly, as soon as we get a duel. There's our duel. There's faster, and slower, slower, slower. Now we can see more information by doing things these ways. Now I can count one, two, three, 
I can count more white bands in the information as if more pictures are being taken than ordinarily would be possible. We just had a We just had a sweep change. Let's put it back. Okay, there's our primary and there's our secondaries. And the primary is going down to zero. And the secondary is uh, failing to go down to zero. Let's slow that down one more time if we can. That's about as far as we can go. Let's put it back to normal speed if we can. This is too fast. Now we can also take individual frames. Step forward. Step backward. Step forward. So that shows uh, the use of the FLV program to analyze things. Uh, in this computer there was a video card was installed. A video card was installed uh, on the computer that was a gaming video card. And apparently that gaming video card, when looking at videos such as this, uh, gave more information. Trying to get up to the relevant point here one more time. Right there's dual. Okay, we stop that on dual. Let's see if we can forward step forward one frame. There's one frame. One frame. One frame. I don't know what, that's a different icon, where that came from. What's that icon do? I'm not sure. Let's try backing the frames up. So that shows us what the camera sees and how the camera interprets it. We're going backwards in time now. I think you're only allowed to go five or six frames backwards or forwards when you're using the frame function. And you can also take a picture. Take a picture there. And that will put the picture in documents. So I find the FLV program to be a nice little program you can pick up on the internet and apply for work like this. Thank you.